Welcome Pentathlon fans to the final edition of the current series of Pentathlon 360. The road to the 2024 Paris Olympic Games, the focus for this episode. 44 athletes have already qualified with 28 spots still up for grabs, 14 male and 14 female athletes still to qualify. We're going to be taking a look back at 2023 as well, some really exciting events. We'll take a look at those highlights. Welcome to Pentathlon 360. We'll start this week's show by taking a quick look back on the 2023 season, specifically the World Cup series, which culminated in the World Cup final in Ankara, where the first qualification quotas for the Paris 2024 Olympic Games were secured. You'll remember that incredible battle between Joseph Chung and Mohamed Shaban in what was one of the most dramatic finishes in recent modern pentathlon history. Eleanor McKelly as well dominating in the women's individual final and she has been in some form over the 2023 season. The pentathlon and laser run world championships were held in Bath, an absolutely superb event put on by the organisers there, where once again Eleanor McKelly and Joseph Chung retained their world championship crowns, the strongest in the field in the Bath World Championships. Are they looking unbeatable heading towards Paris 2024 Olympic Games? Well, modern pentathlon has officially been confirmed for the Los Angeles 2028 Olympic Games with obstacle as part of the sport. The junior events took place last season with obstacle added, thrilling events, exciting both for pentathletes and spectators. The under 17s, the under 19s and the junior world championships featuring obstacle, they will for sure be the future world champions of the sport. Also last year, the Biathlon Triathlon World Championships were held in Bali, an incredible location and fantastic event, plus the Parasport on demonstration, really fantastic to see all the athletes there, and Asia rising high as an organiser of the World Championships next year, strong athletes in several countries, they really are one of the up and coming areas to keep an eye on. Well, let's take a closer look at how athletes can secure their place at the Paris 2024 season with, as mentioned, 28 spots still up for grabs for qualification for the Paris Olympic Games, six of which will come in Zhenjiao at the World Championships. Gold, silver and bronze in the men's and gold, silver and bronze in the women's individual events will get you qualification there with the rest of the qualification spots split over the rankings with, of course, events in Egypt, Turkey, Bulgaria, Hungary and back to Turkey for the World Cup final. Best of luck to all the athletes vying to get their spots secured for Paris 2024. So, as mentioned, 44 athletes have already picked up qualification spots for the Paris 2024 Olympic Games. Special mention once again to Eleanor McKelly and to Joseph Chung, the world champions last year, Mohamed Shaban, World Cup final winner in Ankara, Turkey. Laura Heredia was the first female athlete from Spain who secured her spots for the modern pentathlon Olympics. And Emiliano Hernandez had an outstanding performance throughout 2023, securing his place to following in the footsteps of his brother Ishmael, who won, of course, the medal at the Rio 2016 Games. And special mention to Carenza Bryson, who's been absolutely incredible this year, winning her first World Cup gold in Bulgaria. She also handled lots of achievements throughout her personal life and indeed within the sport in 2023 and is going strong into the 2024 season. Valentin Prades and Marie Orteza were two French athletes who qualified and they will be ones to watch over 2024 as well. Well, that's it for this episode of Pentathlon 360 and this series of Pentathlon 360. The first event of the 2024 calendar is in Cairo, Egypt. We'll see you all there. Bye for now.